Yeah, I have. I'll use a completely different method. Or could be used. Using completely different methods. Um, completely different uh, groups of people. It might matter if maybe if one study was done in Germany and one in the US. Might make a difference. Mm. So there could be. Not for sure. There could even be cultural differences. Um, and we know there are cultural differences in, in some in, in some areas that are very relevant. Um, in, term, <coughs> in terms of how you approach treatment and, and how you respond to treatment. Um, drugs, not so much, because they're, they're chemicals that you put in people's um, bodies. But when you're doing social or co like training stuff, um, like you, 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 IQ studies. Um, you guys all have you had you have you guys all done IQ tests at some stage? Maybe some of you have, some of you haven't. Um, do you believe in IQ as a? Seeing we're talking about mental training and, and cognitive training, do you believe in IQ? Sure. What? What's the rationale for the IQ? What was the original rationale for it? No one's ever talked to you about that? Okay, the original res uh, 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 the <coughs> rationale between IQ was, I think, was actually a German um, doctor, because the Germans did a lot of stuff in intelligence um, in, the, in the 20s, um, decided that you could measure someone's intelligence independent of their knowledge, and that their intelligence would stay the same for their whole life. No, you cannot train intelligence, you can only train knowledge. Okay? So the idea was you do an IQ test when you were 10, and that would then determine how intelligent you were for the rest of your life. And then all we could do is try and get you enough knowledge to compensate for your lack of you lack or neatly high intelligence. Right? Uh, and so originally it was then used to screen people and say, well, you guys are the intelligent ones, so we'll try and give you lots of knowledge. And you guys aren't intelligent, you're never going to be intelligent, so we'll make you work in the trades right? and do apprenticeships. Um, we've kind of got rid of that <laughs> process a bit. Um, <clears throat> the British still use it a little bit, even though it's been completely discredited. There is no way of measuring intelligence that stays static your whole life. Right? Um, we now have two concepts of intelligence, crystalline intelligence and fluid intelligence. Okay, Now, Crystalline intelligence is your knowledge, basically, how much you know. Your fluid intelligence is your ability to problem solve and create new knowledge. Now, dementia is interesting because it seems to destroy fluid um, intelligence much faster, right? Because fluid intelligence is that ability to learn new things, and dementia is the inability to remember and learn new things. So it seems to be fluid intelligence that destroys. Crystalline intelligence, not quite so much, because often they can still remember stuff from a long time ago, and they have knowledge, but they can't learn things and they can't change. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're getting more and more rich understandings of intelligence and knowledge. Yeah. And, and the, the recent study is actually split it into nine parts. Nine parts. So there is a separate one specific for mathematical uh, reasoning, special one for movement, special one for audio uh, synchronicity with your eyes and so on. So they kind of split it into different tasks and say, you know, a person who is intelligent sort of in one area doesn't need to be in, in another area. So people, for example, who are really skilled in math tasks may not have the movement intelligence. So they may be clumsy in sort of this, this, this particular skills. So they kind of try to test those nine things separately now. Yeah. yeah. Because... Compared to the classic... IQ test, which is pretty narrow on logic, I see. It is very narrow on logic. Yeah. And you also know that, you know, when they when they first did the they first wrote the IQ test, they found that girls were outperforming boys. So they removed the questions that girls were doing better than boys at. Until girls well, and boys had the same level of IQ. Hmm? Well, I've I, 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 I never looked it up. But you know, he he because he you know, because he thought, well, you know. It's not possible that women could actually be, on average, more intelligent than men. So it must be that my tests are wrong. So I'll remove questions which women do better on average than men, until men and women do the same on my test. So yes, the IQ is not a, a fair, pre-existing, untested thing. It was the, the 
you know, iterated until it gave the result. It would thus measure IQ. <laughs> it measures IQ. <laughs> but if IQ we measure, 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 measure different things. Yeah, so with a, yeah, and so they sometimes talk about G, which is general intelligence, right? Does does IQ measure G? And these nine are yeah. all measures of G. <laughs> and so G, the big like, what is your G? Don't really know. Um, IQ very. Logically focused, that removed things to make sure that women didn't outscore men because you know you guys can't be averagely more intelligent. Than That's very interesting. If women scored better on the original test, yes, because it's still a little rare to see women in mathematics or physics and stuff, which is highly logical. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, so women scored higher, and they removed the ones that women scored on well on until it got a, until it got the numbers he wanted out of his test, and then he released it as the fair test. Yeah, pretty nice. That's so. It does put women among other women. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really do you a good job of comparing the two because it wasn't. It had that comparison already removed. Um, <clears throat> so when we talk about these tests of like, what is your cognitive ability? Um, yeah, using different tests mm. of these nine different types of intelligence. Are we even measuring the same thing? Uh, this is Not really. <laughs> so when I talk about an effect size, if I gave you, you know, let's say the net of, this was cognitive ability, let's say we, we were measuring, you know, health, right, fitness. Right? How do we measure fitness? Well, you know, maybe I'll take BMI as fitness, right? I'll measure your, your weight and assume that that's a fitness thing. And another study will use your beep test of running back and forth, right? And another study will measure arm strength. Right? And then what we do is we make you run a long way. Which of those tests are you likely to improve at if we, the exercise we give you is running? In the running. Probably in the, <laughs> probably in the big test, right? <laughs> But the arm curl strength test, probably not. BMI, maybe a little bit, right? But yeah. I, it might not have much of an effect. Because in, in certain populations, if you make them run a lot, they won't necessarily lose a lot of weight because they'll start putting on some muscle weight, they'll lose some weight with aerobic fitness, but they might already be... I mean, if I make Marius run more, he's not going to lose any more weight, right? Because there's not much left of him. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stable weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you made me run a lot, I probably would lose some weight, right? But that we're a different population, basically, right? I'm... I'm already is the obese category, he's not, right? So a single activity on us won't have the same effect. And that's why they're talking about like if you're already threshold on your test, right? Because the MS the MMSE, the mini mental state evaluation, you guys will all max out on it. Right? Um, actually we can I can show you. Um, uh, actually you can do a search. Have you guys seen an MMSE, the mini mental state evaluation? Done any okay? Well, we'll, have, we'll create, do a quick look at cognitive tests because um, if you look at games like Lumosity, and we'll be talking about that uh, on Thursday, um, a lot of their games are actually these cognitive tests. So if you look up at MMSE, so this is the mini mini mental state evaluation. Now you should be able to find an example of it. So um, standardized actually the first one, the PDF, it's the first PDF you may be able to. That's one we might actually give you the instructions of the evaluation. Um, uh, uh, one, one comment before <laughs> comparing me and, and Simon. Um, yeah. I was reading a study yesterday which was because uh, th there are some claims like if you do some exercises and so on, it kind of helps you with your heart and it helps you with your mood and all those kind of positive things for doing exercises. So there was a study suggesting that it is all true for people who never usually do exercises. So if Simon doesn't run and he starts running, he has all those benefits. But if I run a lot and I start doing more, they say, actually, it's the reverse. Because in the days I run, I'm in the base level. And in days I don't run, I have a decline. <laughs> so it's like with coffee, right? The coffee doesn't really boost your performance. It's just have a decline when you don't have a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you 
Yeah, yeah exactly. If you, yeah. If you have a high salt so, intake, you should, your blood pressure goes up until your body works out how to get your blood pressure down again, <laughs> and it loads. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so you always have to take it in relation to who is doing it, because it is not a universal thing. So this is so. Let's see how well you guys would do on an MSC, right? Let's see. Do you do any of you believe you have dementia? <laughs> is it a spectrum or is it a? <laughs> <laughs> would you know? <laughs> <laughs> would you remember if you had dementia? Okay. So, um, questions. Time allowed. Ten seconds to what year is this? Okay, you got ten seconds. To that's quite a long time to work it out. But, you know, what year is it? Um, we just kind of look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we Google it? <laughs> what year is it this year? Google speech search. You can probably, in a few seconds, you can get the Google speech search back. Just some mumbling. What year is it? <laughs> what season is this? Okay, what month is this? What is today's date? What day of the week is this? What country are we in? <laughs> this is getting harder. What province? Ah, now that might be some of some of you. What province are we in? You all know what province we're in? Auckland. Auckland, yes, good. Foreigners, even the foreigners know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what city and town? We should be able to do that one. We should be scoring quite high here. Um, in home, what's, yes, what is the street address of this building? Technology van. And number? <laughs> yes, excellent. Okay, so some of you will get those points. That point, some of you won't. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're looking at a very short name. What is the name of the building? Facility. A building. <laughs> so the A building. A. A. It's A building. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in home, what room are we in? In the building, what floor are we on? Okay, so proceed. You should. You should have a Okay, say. So, I am going to name three objects when I'm, let's see, so this is telling the, the, um, uh, the person offering the text, the, the person who's doing um, the testing, what to say. So, I am going to name three objects. When I'm finished, I want you to repeat them. Remember um, what they are, um, are because I'm going to ask you the, to name them again in a few minutes. Say the following words slowly, one second interval. All are... Man. <laughs> okay. Um, unfortunately, you guys have the test in front of you, so you can look back at it and go work out. Remember, full car man. Um, spell the word world. Now spell it backwards. <laughs> That's tricky. <laughs> so, uh, I, I would have to think. I would have. I would take me some time to think of how to spell the word yeah, world. Yeah, half a minute. Yeah, half a minute though. You got thirty seconds. Though. I, I could probably have to write it down. Right. So. But saying world backwards, um, E L R O W. Yeah, <laughs> I, it takes mental effort to do that. But yeah, so world backwards. Uh, now, now, what are the three objects? Yes, love yeah, you know. <laughs> Cool, come in. Yep. Um, and you remember the uh, So yeah, sh um, show a wristwatch. What is this called? I don't actually have one on. Um, there are not many people who wear them anymore. Yeah, all, all those questions are tricky. Is it a smartwatch or is it a fitness watch? Or, you know? Maybe it's a watch. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, luckily, dementia tends to hit the older people and they all know what it is. They all know what it is. Oh, we have a team? The way that need to change it in 10 years. <laughs> in 10 years. <laughs> so, well, so, so this is so, yeah, um, what are the pen? Um, uh, yes, I would like you to repeat the phrase after me. No ifs, ands, or buts. That's, so repeat that phrase, right? Just this, I, so you can remember what it says. Um, read the words on the page and um, and do not um, and do what it, um, what it says. Um, then hand the person a sheet with close your eyes on it. If they um, the subject reads and does not close their eyes, repeat up to three times. Score only if subject closes eyes. So you get a point if you can work out that I've had you a sheet of paper that says close your eyes on. Right? Okay. So this this is the test for dimensions. So this is the MEC, the most common of the ones we're doing here. This is the test that is. Okay, and you can see um, so eleven is is uh, 
yeah, place design and um, arrange everything. So in front of the person, say, copy this diagram, please. Allow multiple tries, wait until the person has finished, and hand it back. Score only if correctly copied diagram on a um, with a four-sided figure between two five-sided figures. Okay, so they've got to draw two pentagrams, and they've got to make sure that the the bit that's the overlap is a four-sided shape. I'm not sure if I would necessarily have remembered to get that exactly right. Right, I might have got a five-sided shape by having that bottom corner inside the overlap. I don't know if I, I mean, I would have tried to copy it perfectly, but I might not have done that perfectly. And then <clears throat> ask the person if he or she is, um, is right left handed, take a piece of paper, hold it up and say, take this, um, this paper, in your left or right hand, whichever is non-dominant, fold the paper in half and once with both hands and put the paper down on the floor for one point for each instruction executed correctly. So take paper in the correct hand, fold it in half, put it on floor. Okay, so that gives you a score out of 30. Now, you guys would all probably probably get 30, I would think. Yes? Do you think you'd be pretty ceiling effect for 30? That's why the test has to show paper if you're doing the wrong time. And that's why you, you ask them what they're not, you ask them if they're left or right handed. Right, so I, are you left or right handed? Yeah. You're right handed. So I would say, take this with your left hand. Yeah, but that should be good, like, yeah. Yep, and you just grab it with the <laughs> other hand. Yeah. So you, you, you might get 29, right? You might lose that one. You might spell world incorrectly backwards. Um, and is it ands or buts or ors and buts? Right. No ifs and or buts. It doesn't matter, you just have to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> but so what it means. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, it just keeps going down. You'll see, so that's the score out of 30. Um, I usually get to try to understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you think, well, what does that mean? Yeah. Um, so stage one, stage two, stage three. So these are the stages of, of cognitive function. Now, I think if, if this probably has a scoring down the bottom. Oh, no, that seems the Okay, so, so that's your 30-point MMSE, right? Uh, and so when you look at the threshold for whether they say you have dementia or not, you, you can say, like, what is their score on the MMSE, right? Um, so if we go back to some of the, the some previous... Thing. So if you do a new search for MMSC, go back to your previous Google search, uh, and you can look at probably the, uh, the score. Do they have a 